Hey guys, Tom here for Beyond Examination with another case review for the S22 Ultra from Samsung. Um, this is the uh, subcase line of cases, usually known for being very tough. Um, but first, let me mention that I usually like to do these reviews when I have the phone in hand so we can test out things like wireless charging and the such. But with the chip shortage and Best Buy dropping the ball, my day one pre order is not supposed to ship until about April. So that's insane, and I wanted to get these videos out there for the lucky few that actually got their phone and want to make a decision on what they want to put their phone in. But this here is a dummy unit, non-working, you know. It's, it's a very convincing dummy unit. The S Pen doesn't come out, but um, it should be able to uh, give us an idea of how at least these cases fit and what it looks on them, and hopefully help you guys make a decision. So um, right to it, here we go subcase this is a very big box so it's going to be a very big case um it's got the mill standard uh drop protection there and uh it is called da -da -da -da, the ub pro in camo black okay now it says note this is built designed without a screen protector which i'm all right with i don't usually like screen protectors and i usually uh take them off And I'm just reading what it's saying here about the Samsung wireless charging. Okay, so it's saying to use Samsung's brand of wireless charger and to wait seven seconds for it to start to charge. So I'm guessing there must have been some issue there. And uh, I don't know. Oh, wow. This is a big boy. And it comes with a, a holster. Uh, one of those things you put on your... Um, your belt. I've never used those, but it's cool to see that that's still a thing. It looks... Wow, this thing looks really cool. Um, okay, so here's the holster. Um, I'm trying to see if this is one of those ones that turn. I think it does, but I hate to force it. Oh yeah, it does. So you can wear it either way on your belt. That's nice. Looks cool. And here is the case itself has a kickstand. Let me get it out of here so we can look at it better. Just lift that tab. Here's our installation guide and how to get it in. You know how much I don't like looking at those. And a little sticker about how to install it. Put that down over here. Okay, so let's get this kickstand out. Um, kickstands are cool. I mean, they have their uses. Um, whether they work well is another thing. Okay, that comes out. So it would hold it up. And it also looks like it would work in that orientation too. That's nice. I like the, the, the camo pattern on this. It's like a digitized dot matrix pattern. Got these little feet, rubberized feet here. Um, let's go ahead and get them in. So this usually takes a little doing. You have to kind of work your way around the edges to get the frame off. Alright, All right. so the trick usually is put the frame on first. Frame is a nice kind of shiny gun metal as you can see. And then you go ahead and work this in. Start on the bottom. And then kind of work it in on the top. And then just kind of make sure everything clicks into place. And there you have it. Um, as a person who likes uh, as thin a case as possible to make such large phones pocketable and easy to handle, these cases usually aren't for me. But I could also see these cases are for people who want that protection. And so far, this is the best case for protection that I've seen yet. Look how thick that is. It has very decent very decent bottom and top protection of the screen so if it was to fall face down you're not making that contact and also it's to note I've tried a few cases where the actual screen sits above the edges of a case because of the way this they, they still uh, curve the screen on the S22 just not as intense but I've seen cases where it sits above because it's using this frame design and it does have these generous 
uh, rubberized edges it looks like you should be safe it's kind of hard to tell if it's maybe sitting a little bit but I think you're gonna be safe uh, nice button size buttons they I like when they increase the size of the buttons um, hard to tell if they're responsive or not because the buttons on this dummy unit aren't the best I don't think they're indicative of what the final product will be but I like that they did increase the size I just wish the texture was a bit more aggressive because with having your buttons so close together if you're say not looking at your phone it's easier to find it if it's oh that's aggressive I know what that is but um looks great I mean go ahead and pop this out again it sits in both ways perfectly fine it's nice and sturdy and looks cool I mean that, that counts for a lot it looks cool um, and then it comes with a really decent uh, plastic belt holder I mean this is really nice you see don't see a lot of companies still doing this except for the like you know high high-end ones that are gonna charge you an arm and a leg totally adjustable and honestly that would not look bad on on a belt it's pretty pretty cool yeah I don't know uh, like I said I, I have a hard time with larger cases myself that is really a high quality case I gotta say that um I have another big box here and I'm guessing it's probably yes same thing I don't know if I'll go through the trouble of putting it on we're gonna take a look at it and if it looks cool enough maybe we'll go through the trouble wow okay hold up I've never seen somebody do something like this before I uh, we were we were gonna try this on it's clear how cool is that one thing I used to love about the old school when I first found sub cases is I had a the first pixel I think it was it was a Motorola I forget what it was called but it had the single camera module and the dimple in the back of it I think it was I forget it might not even been called pixels back then but I loved the phone it was a huge phone it was like one of the first big screen phones and you uh, and subcase made this simple bumper case that had frosted backs to them so that you could see your phone but they weren't able to pick up uh, pick up fingerprints and it was ingenious no one else was doing it and nobody else really does it today and they recently had gotten away from doing that on their phones I have not seen it done in so long but this is genius look at this it's a type of plastic that inherently won't pick up fingerprints and because it's frosted it doesn't have that same risk of getting all scratched up and cheesy looking we gotta try it we gotta try this guys all right I know I'm, I'm getting a little excited about a, a case but uh, this is really cool and like I said I'm not a big on the huge cases but uh yo that's that's awesome All right. sorry it takes me a little while to pop it in and out here all right so yeah I was pretty upset when I heard that uh, I wasn't getting that phone on release day and it's you know why it is is uh first they prioritized it seemed like carrier phones first I was going straight up pay it for pay it all up front unlocked and secondly they enticed you in with the free memory upgrade so you got double the memory which matters because there's not an SD card slot in the new S22 and uh so they gave you a free upgrade of memory which is kind of you need it but those models are the models that they push back until April 1st and some people are going to be waiting until uh, until May at the latest which is insane I mean I, I, I don't know if I can wait that long I can wait that long I have an s20 ultra that's still doing fine but, I mean it was very very disappointing and how they went about it was kind of sneaky in my opinion they didn't want to admit to the attate so I don't know all right here we go got it on okay so it's kind of hard to say without being able to turn on the screen because this is a fake phone but 
at first, I'm not a huge fan of being able to see the clear around the outside of my phone. Just, just OCD, that's just how I am. And this is still cool. It, it, I, I do like it. And it's way different than anything else you're going to see on there. But it's not showing up the back of the phone as much. It, maybe it could have been less frosted. I don't know. Actually, I'm looking through it through the camera. And it's not that great. But when I look at it from in my real life perspective here, it does look cool. Um, again, the size of this is kind of not the size I'm used to. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. If they had done the bumper in black and these little accents in black, like, uh, where's the other one? Yeah, like on this one. That would have been great because that would have looked a lot like that original one I had on the uh, Motorola back in the day. But, um, yeah, it definitely stands out. I mean, that is, <laughs> that is pretty cool. I, I gotta say, that is pretty cool. And it's, it feels like really good plastic. Like, it doesn't feel like brittle plastic, which is great because you're going to be snapping this in and out, in and out. Yeah, I don't know. If they could have, could have just did that, made this bumper somehow black, added a little bit of the black accents on the back, this would have been perfect. But, uh, no, that's cool. I, I do like that. That is different. And I have another one here. Same exact thing. Uh, just a different color. This one I'm not going to pop on. We already did two. But we'll take a nice up-close look at it. It is the uh, blue one. And this looks pretty sharp, I gotta say. I'm usually not a, a color guy. I like things a little plainer. That's just how I am. But, uh, yeah, it's a nice shiny blue. Not too shiny. It's just shiny because I have bright lights on in here. With carbon fiber details along the top same kind of uh, belt holster holder as the black one yeah definitely I could say this about them too you're not gonna bust your phone up in these these are very well made everywhere that you would hope to have the protection you've got it so kudos on that I mean this whole line, if if you are looking for a case to protect your phone and you're maybe have the dropsies or something like that, I don't think you're gonna find better than this. But uh, yeah, cool, cool, interesting line and kind of a different take than I'm used to recently on these. And just in case you didn't have enough colors, I have one more. I did not realize that. And that is ooh. Master Chief here. This is this must be the Halo special edition or something. It looks well. This I like it. I really do. I like the colors that they picked on these phones. Look at that. That is Master Chief. I mean, you throw on a little yellow somewhere. Maybe you you color something in yellow, like the get some paint and color this yellow. It's, it looks like a Master Chief special Halo edition. Wow. I love these. I really do. I mean, I am not a thick phone fan, and these would make your phone a little thicker than I'm used to, but kudos on these colors, man. Let's get these all on screen at once here. And there you go. That is a great lineup of colors. I really like that. Um, whoever picked those, awesome. That's cool. Um... I'm torn. Uh, I would use any one of these. Maybe not the blue. The blue's a little out of my comfort zone, but these guys right here are cool. But uh, great. Um, so we're down to the last one, guys, and it is considerably smaller than the rest. So we might have one that's not one of these gigantors. So I'm actually uh, interested in seeing what this is. This one is called the Edge Pro, and as you can see here, it has a front and a back and a built-in screen protector. Uh, full disclosure, I hate built-in screen protectors. I like the feeling of glass under my finger. I usually just rip them out if I have one. Uh, and one thing I notice here is 
There must be something about the actual fingerprint sensor on the phones that is giving screen protectors problems because this is the second time I've seen that once you get off all these protective films on the front and the back there is this other little protective film here independent so you peel that off and if you look real close see if I can get a good shot of it there it is there's a little circle it doesn't have the same slight matrix dot that I can't get the picture to really show up too well it's just like I don't know if it's a thinner piece of plastic there or a different type of plastic but it's meant for your finger and there must have been some issue with the new new ones that are having it. I, I remember back in the day, they used to actually have to cut a hole in the screen protector so that you could use a free, uh, use the fingerprint scanner, which just opened it up to getting dust trapped underneath the screen protector. It was really a mess. So whatever they had to do to get it to work, that's that's cool. And I'm sure when the phone is on, that's hopefully not too noticeable. But um. Like I said, I have a dummy unit, so I can't test that out to see that. Or to see how well it works with the fingerprint sensor, which is kind of sad. Um, whether I keep that pre-order until April, hopefully it comes even before that, I don't know. We will see. But okay, so... I'm going to go about this the way we have been doing it. We go ahead and put the front in first. It's kind of interesting too is look at this the, the frame on this one it doesn't just sit like on the very edge it goes almost all the way around and then put it in here and there you go definitely a slimmer form factor but still very protective and man I don't know if it pops on the video as it does in person but th this edge looks super cool um it is <laughs> this is the kind of problem you run into this looks great but it is if you're not playing attention that's slippery there is not that tactile tactileness to it and when you get start getting up to these big size phones you kind of like to have that tactileness um it's very classy looking i'll say that it's definitely very classy has all the proper ports and what have you but um you're gonna pick up your fingerprints you usually do on this kind of on um, this it's inevitable but um very classy there's the protection of the edge which has been an issue with some cases I've seen where the screen sits a little bit above the edge you're not gonna have that that's probably why they call it the edge pro um, buttons are very they're, they're small they're the size of how they would be on the phone phone itself so they don't get enhanced any and wow um, this might be an issue. I've said it before, the buttons on this sample model I have here are not very good to start with. But here, I'm pressing in on these and I'm not feeling anything. So, that's kind of concerning. Um, again, I can't really tell you without having a legit model if this would be an issue. But I am not getting any response like I'm not feeling that button press in at all I just want to pop this out and see if I could say tell anything from it yeah I'm not as impressed with this one it looks nice but the uh, the these first models was a lot a lot more interesting to me wow this thing is on there tight it's one of the reasons I'm not very much a fan of these phones with the, uh, the front frames is they, they're not easily changeable. you got to really work at getting them out. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so what we have here is it's, this is a recipe for disaster. Because they have such a thick frame on the front... Look how far the buttons are already recessed in there. What they try to do is then on the one that goes over is they put these. They see yeah you can see right there they are extended, so you would hopefully go in there, and there would be that. 
it pushes back and forth. But if the buttons are like this on the regular, you're really playing that close. I mean, you have to go deep into these holes to touch there. I, I would, I can't in good conscience recommend this one. I mean, it's hard to say without having an actual unit here, but I feel like that's a very, very likely problem. Things could change. It could be a problem with my display model, but um, yeah, that is worrisome to me. Um, I would not recommend that out of good faith. But these other ones, I mean, I haven't seen phones. This, these are really well made. Love the holsters on them. And uh, they're going to keep your phone safe. Uh, one other thing to notice is they have the little dust cover for the uh, USB-C. Which doesn't, sometimes can be a little annoying when you want to charge. It's not a lot of people do wireless, I mean, charge like this anymore. I do. So it kind of is annoying. But I also work in a place where junk is constantly getting in my port and messing it up. So that is nice to see that they're still doing that as well. I mean, this is a good all wear on protection. If you're interested in seeing more of these or maybe picking up one for yourself, I'll put links in the description below. Um, like I said, I really do like these cases. They are really smart looking. And this clear one is definitely something I've never, well, I haven't seen of recently. So that's kudos to them for trying something new. Um, if you guys would want, you can follow me on all my social media platforms at EdgeLimited13. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Everybody says that, but it really does help out a smaller channel like me. So, uh, finally, thanks for watching. Hope I helped you out, and I'll talk to you all later.